Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tour series. I'm actually in Denmark with Suzuki. We've been riding here one with GXs. There's about six of us with GXs. Starting off from the UK, obviously, from Milton Keynes, traveling across into Netherlands from Harwich on the ferry, through Germany, Hamburg, and currently we're in Denmark. I'm not even going to try and pronounce <laughs> where we currently are, but we've had a fantastic time and uh, this should be quite an interesting series of videos. So uh, if you're interested in the GX, and why wouldn't you be? If you're interested in sort of touring, but not your normal Spain Alps, something a little bit different, then this could be of interest for you. So grab yourself a cuppa, make yourself comfortable, and chop see. Well, that intro. So we have arrived by the look of it. There's the boat. We're still hoping that the park's going to be open. Stop there. I don't know what all the rules are with the push bikes. Welcome to Amsterdam. That's where Amsterdam. Oh, I didn't even look, did he? Where's she going? Cyclists. That little bad boy, Mark II Scirocco. Anyway, Germany, we are here. Forward. Where are we? Huh? Where are we? Osnabrück. 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 Yeah. Uh, medieval city centre. Ah. Osnabrück. You know it, don't you? Osnabrück, obviously. Bloody Osnabrück. Right. Lunch it is. Switch in a minute. Well, that was a spot of lunch, and I think that's all, more or less all of the motorways done. I think we've got to do an hour later just to get to the hotel, but now we should be on some decent roads. It's even brightened up a little bit. I was a bit worried it might start raining. It might be the Pyrenees all over again, but uh, I think we're lucky. I think we're in luck. I think we've got some nice sort of flowing... Not There's no mountains around here, so it's not... Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see what the roads are like. I'm hopeful. But I did enjoy my schnitzel, it was very nice. But in Germany, you have to have a schnitzel, it's the law. Well, I think this is where perhaps the roads start to get a little bit better. Let's see how the old GX handles with the standard rubber. Hamburg, here we come. This is what the old sports touring machines are all about, isn't it? They've got to be able to handle. This fella's about to be GX'd. The X did. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Let's keep it boiling. Yeah, this, this is this is what we wanted. With stays. Oh, that's what this trip's been missing. Some corners. I might have to turn this off. <laughs> For legal reasons. See you in a minute. This is very pleasant. This come through this sort of rather posh looking uh, residential area. It's been some good roads up to here. It's been sort of a few towns and stuff, but it's been it's been uh, it's been brisk. <laughs> This is uh, particularly nice. I had, I had to turn you on for this a little bit. It's just looking good. So we're really out of the sticks now. I think there's more tractors. More people with tractors out here than cars. There's tractors everywhere. Nothing ever good comes to the cornfield, does it, in the movies? Nothing ever good comes to the cornfield. Suspension in the hard mode now, and it's definitely got a bit more support there. It's sort of, <laughs> it's still, it's still comfortable even in the hard. It's still comfortable, but it gives you a bit more support. 
it's not rock hard they say it's hard enough without spoiling you know the overall great ride quality this bike has as I said it before suspension is its superpower it's very very good you know it gets sporty enough that when you want to get a look at, lick on it's actually very capable to chuck around this and then uh, junction you don't quite know who's got to give away to who and then uh, you know bang it in the medium or the soft and it's very compliant I like the medium because it's sort of in the middle and you can more or less sort of unless you're going to get really sporty you can leave it in medium all the time really you can it'll do you know it'll take it will line out all the potholes on the road in the medium and it'll give you enough support if you come across a few little twisties to chuck it around gorgeous little houses lovely little villages look at that place it's a bigger garage though brilliant roads wow so living in the wrong country well we're almost at coffee now 10 past five i don't think we're going to get to the hotel in hamburg we've got another 90 kilometers to go or something it was a little bit motorway towards the end but i think the coffee stopped 15 minutes there's brilliant roads back there such a lovely part of the world yeah we were making a fairly brisk progress so I, I didn't want to record too much of it for uh, liability reasons <laughs> but that was uh, fantastic absolutely superb such gorgeous little gorgeous little German villages like twisties farms absolutely brilliant Wow, well, just stopped for a coffee at the Hummitchen Tech. <laughs> very nice. I'm saying the coffee's coffee's very nice here. Beautiful evening, very still now, sun setting. I think we've got another couple of hours until we arrive at Hamburg. So still a bit of riding to do, some motorways, a little bit of twisties. But uh, I think we're going to get in probably about 8 o'clock, realistically. Beer o'clock. Sorry, I do apologise for the lack of navigation. I was telling... I couldn't get the... Uh, I'd have to buy data for some reason. I don't know why. I'm sure... I'm sure this worked last time I was in Germany, but it just won't work. It wants me to buy data and I can't be bothered. <laughs> so, sorry. I don't know what the route was. I'm not sure it's a route you could probably recreate anyway could you, could you want, would you want to recreate this route well you might want to I suppose if you want to go to Copenhagen by Harwich by Hamburg but um, yeah it's been good it's been quite a lot of motorway today I mean it was motorway until lunch but I guess that's unavoidable isn't it when you I mean, even if we'd come to Calais and gone to Spain or whatever you still would have had all that motorway to deal with so you can't help a little bit of motorway. Say, so, since lunch, these twisty roads have made up for it. They're not hanging about, are they? I wait for the tyres to warm up a little bit first things. Standard tyres, yeah. They're all right when they're fully warm. I still don't have 100% confidence in them. And nowhere near as much confidence as what I get with a decent set of aftermarket rubber on. Whenever I see those red chevrons for corners, they, they, they look like a racetrack. <laughs> they do look like a racetrack. I don't know why Mossy is in front. <laughs> and go flat out.
Autobahn action to finish the day. Wow. What a day it's been. Absolutely incredible roads. kilometers an hour, what is that? Seven and a half thousand revs? 110, something like that? I don't know. Must have been, it's feeling a little bit light at the front at this speed. I don't know what the panniers are rated for either. <laughs> so be careful. I believe the bike is restricted to 140 of stability and it does feel like it's getting a little bit light at the front. Oh, coming into downtown Hamburg, it's quite impressive. Never been to Hamburg before, but it looks like it's a proper old school city. But Cathedral there, the sunset behind it is incredible. I know uh, Andy Mancam, Andy Mancam lives in Hamburg, or well, used to, if he still does. Andy, what are you up to tonight? I must say, I have got a little bit of a sore body body now. Uh, 845 kilometres. 10 hours 40 in the saddle. So that's, oh God, what's that? That's at least seven. And that's probably more than that. It's probably more like eight hours riding today. I mean, I don't just mean, I mean literally the bike's been running for eight hours. So eight hours worth of riding. Considerable amount. And then tomorrow we go to Copenhagen. We go to Denmark. So uh, looking forward to tonight though, it's quarter to eight now, quarter to eight, we set off eight o'clock so we've been on the road for 12 hours, riding for 11, cut that, bloody hell, but uh, oh yeah, but tomorrow we hit Copenhagen so uh, and beer tonight, beer o'clock, so we'll get in, hit the bar, a few bevvies tonight, there's talk of people having an early night and stuff, so like, don't talk nonsense. <laughs> Oh, for you coming to Hamburg, get out on the beer. See you back at the hotel. Oh, nearly had him. Nearly got Rossi. I think you're fine, Rossi. Everyone's going to need a ticket. Me ass. Me ass. Bring it in. Boom. Oh, cool, huh? You got knocked off by that thing, Mossy. No, he's, he's not listening. Oh, <laughs> What's it? Control at 170k. Oh, did you? What was it called? This? Can you remember? <laughs> crazy ugly, crazy, ugly mm, burger mm, with crazy premium fries. I think there was a crazy ugly butcher burger. Oh, that's it. Butcher burger. Very nice. Well, it's the following morning. <laughs> Went out last night, had a few beverages, and uh, yeah, just, just getting ready now. So this is the room. A very nice room, a very small room. There's not really much space to put your gear or anything. And uh, yeah, there is the bed. But uh, yeah, decent, nice, not that big. A little bit too hot. Bloody baking this morning. Let's have a little look out the window. And the plan will be today is we go to Copenhagen. But Hamburg is what a brilliant city Hamburg is. Really sort of impressed with it. We'll have to come back again. Much more sort of vibrant and exciting, cosmopolitan, and all of those things than I, th I thought it would be. But uh, yeah, very, very nice. <laughs> Fun and games this morning. The car park. Um, 
Only two of the tickets would work, paying for the ticket, my event. So you're gonna stand by the machine? I'll go with James. I'll go with James. You go the last one? Dave's got one, or Jack's got one. So yeah. Somebody got three paid for tickets that worked. I'll follow you. Well, I'd better if someone stood by the barrier, both was ready to go, wouldn't they? Put the ticket in, it goes up, we both go. So yeah, quick, quick, because when the barrier opens, two of us got to go through without getting knocked off. And the chaos ensuing. So that's a bit of stress to the morning. <laughs> I feel a bit knackered this morning. I didn't get up in time for uh, any breakfast. Ooh, didn't have too many beers last night, but didn't get to bed to about one, probably. And, uh, well, it's eight o'clock now. We've got to be at the ferry, I think, for half nine. And I think it's an hour crossing to, an hour crossing to uh, Denmark. And I'm absolutely baking. It's so hot down here. So I'm going to follow James. James is my ticket out of here, literally. So do it, see it's done, see the pros do it. Or not. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, Even the tickets which did work to get paid for won't open the barrier. Is it some sort of weighted thing? Is there some sort of weighted thing on the ground? Well, you had to, we had a couple of bikes, we had four bikes on it, didn't we? So. Ready? Barrier races. Enable launch control. And to be fair, it does say no motorcycles on that side there, look. Ah. Yeah. He went out behind the car. Out. Yeah, behind the car. Ah, yeah. So when it was open for a car, he went through behind it. Yeah. We could come in on the back brake, load the bike down, <laughs> pick it up again. <laughs> Barrier gate. As the valley opens, go for it. Oh, hello, the shape. I don't fancy getting knocked off. Barriers are bloody lethal. So now apparently if you say Alaska, if you obviously press the call button, it should open. But it seems that the call button's not working. So I'm just going to have to wait for people to go and then and do one. Do one. Try again, James. What's that button with the camera thing on the actual barrier? There's a camera thing. What's that? Is that button above the camera? We've got a ferry to catch. <laughs> Do one. Oh, it's too hot in that. We made it. Just about. I wouldn't stay there again. No. <laughs> now we're late. Now we've got to hammer it now to get to the ferry on time. Ah, wow. That's all you need in the morning. Set you up with it. Bit of stress for your day. And now we've got some time pressure to get to the ferry port. Anyway, I will update you once we are outside the city on the open road. Switch in a minute. Bye bye. Well, because of barrier gates, we're now possibly missing the ferry. So we've got to be there by half time and checked in. This is the bridge to Sweden. Look at that, my boy.